We thank God for everything. And at this moment, I just want to take this opportunity for us to invite the shepherd of the house. If you will help me, let's welcome the Bible. Say, give honor to whom honor is due. Help me welcome Pastor James. Oh, James. Amen. 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 Just lift your hand for one minute and just uh, thank the Lord. Thank him for your life. You're here by the grace of God. He is the source of your strength, the source of your life. He's the reason why you are living. And he's the author and the finisher of your faith. It don't matter what has happened. It don't matter what you have lost. God still remains God. And for the fact that you are here, there is a reason and there is a purpose. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for this church. God has a plan for me. I want you to say that God has a plan for me. God has a purpose for me. I am not just here to exist. I am here to fulfill purpose. I am here to fulfill destiny. I am here to fulfill purpose by the grace of God in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, you can clap your hands. Celebrate the presence, celebrate the presence, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Jump those hands one more time. Take your seat in his presence, amen. Ain't God so good? Oh my goodness, God is so good. I love him, it don't matter whatever. I mean, somebody told me, he said, he's sweeter than Kool-Aid. God is sweeter than Kool-Aid. You know, I say, how do you think God is? God is sweeter than Kool-Aid, man, I tell you. And, you know, you got to understand how sweet Kool-Aid is. How many of you have tasted Kool-Aid before? I went to a, 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 a meeting one day in way back in Baytown, and uh, I was invited there to come pray for this family. And, and uh that was the first time I tasted the Kool-Aid that Jesus Christ. I said, what did y'all put in this Kool-Aid? Because it was so overly too sweet. <laughs> and the kids were taking that and jumping around. I, I'm just so blessed. But after I took that and that lady said to me, Jesus is sweeter than Kool-Aid. I said, wow, <laughs> Jesus is so sweet. Amen. No wonder the Bible say, taste and see that the Lord is good. You see, until you taste it, you will know that the Lord is good. Am I speaking to somebody this morning? Amen. I'm just so excited about our new choir team. Amen. Amen. You see, today I'm not sweating, you know. Because I used to be the one jumping around doing the praise and worship. Oh my goodness. I thank God for Pastor Lucretia. She is such a blessing in a timely manner. See, God, God knows how to fix and arrange things. If we stay in the cause and stay in line, God will use us accordingly. See, it's not about him that run it, not about him that will it, but him that show it mercy. You got to be in the will of God. The choir sounded so good today. I'm like, woo, this is just the first time. Imagine when we have all the time to practice. They didn't even practice that much yet. Mm -mm -mm. I was sitting out there helping out with the sound, and I'm like, God, these people should just continue was feeling so good so thank god for your life woman of god and your beautiful team amen sharika misty vanessa vanessa honestly i'm praying for you to stay back don't go back to jamaica mm. you know you coming around to tease us and then you run away please stay back let this happen for us amen 
thought they were all so beautiful. Uh, yesterday was such an awesome time. Like Mama already said, we had, uh, we had such an awesome time. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but you all saw God at work. We saw God at work. You know, the joy of this church is to be a blessing to people. And I believe that is what God has called the church to be. You know, forget this thing that is going on. That's why it's good to be planted in the right place. You know, if the church cannot pray for people and be a blessing, then let's close the church down and stay at home. But the church is there to encourage. We all have struggles. We all are dealing with all kinds of types of issues. We need to open our doors for people who are struggling with all kinds of things. that we, They just need somebody to talk to. We just need somebody to pray with. You know, we, we, we need to be a blessing to our own generation. Jesus said, I came for the sick and the lost. I didn't come for the ones who already made it. I'm looking for those people who are trying to find hope in life. Who are trying to find purpose in life. People who are trying to find a way out to figure out who they are in life. That's what the church is all about. You know, the church has so built up in the place that, you know, we have this mentality that everybody has to be perfect. And we push everybody away. And I told them, I said, not in this place. In this place, we welcome everybody. As long as you are here to listen to the word and the word of God. Because you are looking at somebody that God brought from nowhere. Changed him and became something. And God said, I'm going to use you to change others. Amen. And I thought we did such a great thing yesterday. The community we're just five years or you know a little less than five years old as a church and we're doing such a mighty work for the community amen and uh, i'm not here to compete we're not here to compete we're just here to fulfill our own assignment you see it's one thing to be called is for and another thing for you to understand your assignment if you don't understand your assignments you will be out of line and out of alignment see that's another thing when you're driving your car and your car is out of alignment you know it's going to be pulling to one side but if he's on alignment you're driving straight there's not going to be any shaking or anything like that amen so i want to thank you and thank god for holding up the rain and everything else that was done yesterday was done peacefully there was no trouble and uh, we thank god that uh, the lord helped sister misty that uh, she didn't lose her mind yesterday and somebody was trying to curse, amen. But we thank God for that. Uh, we also want to take this opportunity to wish one of our evangelists a happy birthday. Amen. Praise God. On Wednesday was her birthday and uh, we celebrated with her. And uh, I told her, I said, are you bringing any cake? She said, Pastor, I'm on a fast. I'm on a Daniel fast. I said, why do you decide to do Daniel fast now? You know your pastor likes food. You should bring something so we can eat and share in the house. For the big five oh. Well, we're gonna have to starve then. Wait till next year. <laughs> the big five, oh, amen. We thank God for your life and we pray that God continue to strengthen you and grant you many more years. As your years are, so shall your strength continue to be in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I'm so excited in my spirit this morning. I'm excited in my spirit. I want to thank God for all of you that participated. Uh, Pastor Lucretia, Pastor Naomi, Pastor Greg, all of you. You all were wonderful. Wonderful. Let's do this for God. Let's do this for God. Let's do this for God. This is a virgin house and God has a purpose for each one of you in this place.